To get right to it, for those of you that are in a store looking for a quick answer, I will be crystal clear here. I do not recommend beard guys in any situation or any form. Not for a new beardsman. I don't even recommend using it if it was a gift given to you. I personally have not had good experiences with the products from this company. I personally do not like the ingredient list this company has come up with for their products. Now, before anybody starts barking and saying, he just pushes this company or likes this company, no. Whichever store you are in right now, there are likely amazing options next to this product that cost less and I have zero affiliation with, have never made a penny off ever. It does no benefit to me of saying this over that. For example, Honest Amish. It is likely less. It is probably at the same store. Give that a look. Other ones, I recommend Brisk. I recommend Bulldog. I recommend Goodfellows at Target. I recommend Beard Brand at Target. I recommend even Everyman Jack, and there's probably a few that I'm missing out there that I would suggest you use if you are a new beardsman, if you are a budget beardsman, or you're someone that wants to buy physically in a store over these products here. Now, I'm going to today review specifically their beard oil, their beard butter, and their beard wash, all three of which have grotein as an ingredient, and I will break all of that down. But to begin, I would like to introduce myself first. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and I'm passionate about beards. I'm a teacher, but also equally a content creator. I love to help guys take care of their beard, style their beard, know about the ingredients that they're putting on their face, and overall just enjoy the positive vibes of this community and this facial fur hobby, habit, whatever you want to call it. It. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel, checking out some other videos. If you like this vibe, I think you will enjoy the other videos that I have to offer. If you are returning, thank you so much. You are why this channel, this community, this comment section is so special. And I think you guys will see in this video, I will lay out my personal opinions and experiences in a professional and well done and fair way when I'm breaking down why I do not recommend beard guys. Let's start with some information first. Beard Guys is a brand that was launched by the company Universal Beauty Products Incorporated, and it looks like Beard Guys was launched around 2015, somewhere right in that range, and they were launched online, they caught some traction, and then they started to get some distribution in some major chain stores that we see around America. Now, I couldn't find a ton of information about this company other than they have a ton of brands that they have created and or work with, it says that they are out of Glendale Heights, Illinois, but they also have another location in London. So I'm not sure if they are originally based in London or the US or it's just distribution centers. I'm not really sure if you know something more about this company or about the Beard Guys brand specifically, I would love to hear that and read that because I looked and looked and looked and could not find any really reliable information. I would love to hear that from you guys. So. Let's look at these products. That's what really matters. And I have tried these. Beard Guys was one of the first products that I really tried and really used. I started out with a bad company, then I found ones like Honest Amish, loved them, some other ones in store, and then I made my way to Beard Guys uh, years ago, literally multiple years ago. Absolutely hated my experience, but I thought, hey, maybe they have improved. Maybe I was being too hard on them because I was kind of newer to beard products and falling in love with certain companies. So I gave them a revisit. I haven't done any new small batch companies in a couple weeks now. They'll be coming, don't worry. But I want to dedicate it to some of these Amazon big box retailers, the ones that are accessible to you guys on a daily basis, and really dedicate a few weeks to these products, which I did. So the first one we're gonna go over is their beard oil. So their beard oil comes in this box here. I bought mine from CVS, our local CVS here. And this is a two fluid ounce bottle. 
I forgot the price, but I'll try to throw it up over here so you guys can see that if I can remember during editing. Um, I just know it wasn't the cheapest option that was out there. My bill for these three products was more than I'm usually spending or comfortable spending. I'm pretty frugal. Two ounce bottle, it is a plastic bottle, and again, that is a deal breaker for some guys out there. Not so much for me, I, I think that you can do a plastic bottle well, and theirs is okay, it's pretty flimsy, but again, I'm not someone that's like, oh, no plastic, can't do that. Comes with a dropper top here, and it's a pretty decent dropper top, it only fills about a third of the way full, but that's not uncommon for two ounce droppers, and this is their original. Now, their original doesn't really have any scent to it. And I'm going to show you guys here. I got some uh, napkin to, to be able to kind of clean up afterwards. I'm going to show you the viscosity of this oil. Okay, hopefully it'll zoom in there properly. And then I'm going to go over the ingredients. So this oil, if I can get this running, is pretty much a medium viscosity. It's not super light. It's not super thick. It is right in that medium thickness, uh, just so you have an idea of what we're looking at. Now, I'm going to show you on this box their ingredients, and then I will explain my experience and they, what my hand feels like right now, as some of you know or probably can guess. This is an example of their ingredients. I will scroll up slowly. Yes, all of those are in one bottle of beard oil. All of those are in one bottle of beard oil. Now, let me read some of these ones because we have some familiar ingredients here. We have sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, argan oil. All right. Okay. Okay. Doing my thing. Some of my favorites for those of you that are new. That's wonderful. All right. We got fragrance in here. Okay. We, we have some fragrance, of course. Vitamin E. We'll cover that in a, in a new episode pretty soon. Uh, potato extract. Okay, don't know a whole lot about potato extract. Soybean oil, if you watched my video from this last Sunday, you already know how I feel about soybean oil. Not the worst thing in the world, but a subpar ingredient at best with my personal experience and opinion. And then this one here, guys, water. This is labeled as a beard oil and has water in it. Now, where there is water in a product that's sitting on the shelf, it needs to have da 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 Yes, you are correct, a preservative. And if you watch the channel, you know how I feel about preservatives in oils. I'm fine with preservatives in water-based products like shampoo, like conditioner, beard wash. They better have it, actually. I'm not just fine with it. They need it. An oil has no need for water or for a, for a preservative that's in here. And this is now just filled with all sorts of red flags after that. Um, you guys can check that out. I'll kind of show here if you want to pause and, and look at those other ingredients or look them up online. Just riddled with things that have no place in a beard oil with my opinion about an ingredient list. My experience with this oil after giving it a really true shot, a really true one, is it felt like a very cheap and a very mass produced, not thought of about care, but more so thought of about just simply making money was my feel and my opinion of what I experienced. I still have a film on my hand just from that very small amount of oil that I put there, and I do not like that feeling. I do not like a film left over my beard. If I go get a quality beard oil right now and I place it on my other hand, there will be no film. It will absorb into my skin and not sit on the top like that. Even thicker oils that have some coating abilities, they're not gonna do that like this film I have here. So I did not have a pleasant experience with this oil whatsoever. The only decent thing is there's not a ton of scent to it. It didn't smell bad. It didn't smell good. It was just kind of eh. But I do not believe beard oil should ever have water as an ingredient in the product. So what did I go to next? I went to their beard wash because I wanted to kind of get that beard oil out. And I did wear this several times. I wanted to wash it out the first time. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to wear it again, but I told myself, hey, you've dedicated three weeks to this product. You're going to give it a shot. And I did. I followed through with that. I didn't wear it every day for three weeks, but I did wear it uh, sporadically throughout those three weeks. So I tried their wash. I took a look at the ingredients. No major red flags. Their wash was pretty typical. I tried it. It was okay. 
My beard did not feel great afterwards. It didn't feel refreshed. It felt more kind of like the, str the straw or hay, but that is not absolutely uncommon in beard washes. Now, my favorite ones do not do that, but this was not the worst wash that I've ever tried. This was the most decent product that I've tried from Beard Guys, and that is their beard wash. But again, this is not one that I would use ever again after filming this video. <sighs> and then their beard butter. <sighs> All right, guys, get ready for this, please. Get ready. And, and we still have to address Grotein. We still have to address the labeling on every single product that says Grotein, okay? A play on grow and protein. Yeah, we'll get there. Their beard butter. Okay. I believe a beard butter base should be butter and oil. I'll say that again. I believe a beard butter base should be did I say beard? <laughs> I, I'm going to say it again just to be clear because I don't even know what I said in my own head. A beard butter base should be butter and oil. Butter and oil there. I may have slipped on my words on the first one. Okay. This product gives me the heebie-jeebies like really any other product that I've ever used. The very first ingredient, let me see if I can find it here, on their beard butter is water. The most potent ingredient inside of this container is water. Now, let me show you this product here, and I'll even get some out just because I love you guys, and I think it's, I need to do that justice for you. This is what we would call like a, a slippery sour cream consistency. I really despise the feel of this, even in my hands, but again, I'm going to do this for you guys. And the scent on this one is the worst. In my opinion, it smells like chemicals. Now, I don't know what chemicals, I'm not saying, that's just when I smell this and my wife, we both said, ah, that smells like processed chemicals. Now, I'm not saying there's chemicals in here. Easy, easy. It just smells from my nose to this like chemicals. All right, so here is their butter. It is very wet feeling, very slippery. Let me show you guys. And it, it is like cottage cheese mixed with sour cream. Absolutely disgusting experience from me. I despise the feel of this butter. I did wear it in beard because things have surprised me before. It was only worse. I despise it. Now, because I love you guys, I wore it twice. I wore the beard oil over three weeks, a good six, seven times. I used the beard wash also about five to six times over the weeks. I wore the beard butter twice because I really wanted to give it a shot. I didn't want to base it off one bad experience. And some people are still going to criticize and say, oh, no, too. I know my beard after two uses. Trust me on that one. This is one of, if not the most disgusting experiences I personally have had with beard products from the scent to the feel to the nourishment. I feel like I gotta like, like wipe myself off right now. I just, I hate it. I despise that feel. Again, that is me personally here. Now, let's address the ingredient of grotein. Grotein is supposed to be, I guess, a blend of nourishing ingredients that are gonna help grow your beard and help thicken your beard. Now, there are things you can do to grow your beard and thicken your beard. I do not personally see any ingredients that would do that. I'm not saying they are wrong. I am not saying these are false claims, but I have not found personally any beard growth I have not found any research that would say any of these ingredients would have beard growth. And from my opinion, it looks like it is taking aim at new beardsmen that are like, hey, I want to grow my beard. I know protein's good for men. And this, this says grotein? Grotein? Are you kidding me? There's an actual ingredient on here labeled grow teen? Dude, sign me up. It's going to grow my beard. And I've heard of this beard oil stuff. And to me, that breaks my heart. That is so sad that this beard butter, labeled as Grotein, is the first experience for some beardsmen out there. And think about how many beards we've lost. How many guys are like, oh, 
This is what that Dan says about beard butter? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. And again, there's budget options. There are good things in the store that you could get for a beard butter. The Honest Amish beard balm, especially their heavy duty balm, is essentially a beard butter and it's wonderful. It made my original top five beard butter list. Honest Amish, there are options out there. Goodness gracious, this is not one of them. I'm going to wrap it up in a conclusion, come back to you guys in two seconds. Two points that I would like to hit as we wrap this up. Point number one is their website says there is a 30 day money back guarantee. Now, I don't know any of the details. I'm not encouraging anything. I will not be pursuing my money back. I have the receipt. I bought these. I use them. I think that's part of the risk of trying products. But hey, I just wanted to point out something that is on their website for some of you to possibly explore. Second point, if you've been on this channel and following along for years now, early on, I did have a video review of Beard Guys of a different product of theirs. I don't believe they make it anymore. And it was not a positive review. I did not have a good experience back then, but I did remove that video sometime after posting it. The reason why is around that time when I removed the video, I had three companies that were threatening to sue me over negative reviews, two of which fell off and they're not even companies anymore and never went any farther. One of which they did proceed with that lawsuit. Luckily, I was in the right. I know two things very well. I know my opinions and I know fact and how they work in the court of law. And my sister just so happens to be a very high powered lawyer that graduated from an Ivy League law school. So so that really ended in my favor in my favor and I learned a lot about this process and I gained a lot of confidence about how I go about this craft. So, if anybody was wondering like haven't I seen one? I can't find it. I did have a video but that one is no longer up. So, to conclude, to wrap this up, no positive experience for myself. There's a lot that I dislike about what this company is doing, but hey, maybe that is just me. I do know some people that I really do trust that don't have the worst things to say about beard guys and maybe it is working for them. I also know beard guys reach out to a lot of people to get them as influencers to send them stuff out and I'm not saying that changes anybody's integrity but sometimes that does move the needle a little bit especially if they're a newer reviewer or a newer influencer but again there are people that I trust that have used these products and do not feel the same exact way that I do, and hopefully they will leave a comment down below. So I'm asking you, please, for everybody else watching, for me to kind of get a database of where everybody's at, if you have tried Beard Guys, leave a comment down below with your honest experience, your honest thoughts. And if you disagree with me, please put it down there. That is totally okay. It happens all the time with some of my best friends. If you agree with me, that's all right too. Put that down below. Tell me what product you used and then any thoughts, experiences, opinions you've had using those products. If you're someone that is on the fence and you're looking for in-store, you're looking for budget, consider what I said, but really read the comments because there's likely going to be hundreds of guys that are giving you their experiences. So thank you guys for watching today. I apologize if this was a little bit too long, but I wanted to make sure I really covered everything and didn't cut things out to make it a short video. My name one more time is Dan C. Bearded. Please subscribe if you haven't. I do appreciate that. Stay bearded and stay positive.